Hivers, welcome to Honey Bee Stamping Hive, where a creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stamp It Up demonstrator. Today I am going to be making, I'm sorry, that's upside down. I'm going to be making um, another card to go in this set. This is a, um, a set, it's going to be a set of three. These are my first two. I think I shared these on Wednesday of this week, earlier this week. And I made this horizontal one and a vertical one. And now I think I want to make a diagonal one. And I wanted to use the um, a different stamp set in the set. I mean, not a different stamp set, but a different image in the stamp set. And the stamp set I am using is the Rooted in Nature stamp set. It also comes um, in a bundle with the Nature's Roots Framelit dies. So you can get all three. Um, both of these items in a bundle and save 10%. And this is a huge stamp set. As you can see, it comes in two different cases because there's so many stamps. And this is a red rubber stamp. So you can either get it in a clear mount, which is what I have, or the wood mount. And clear mount does not mean the stamps are clear. They are red rubber. That just means it mounts onto the clear blocks, okay? So I'm gonna be using um, the sponging technique and the torn edge technique combined to create these cards and what I have here is a um, just plain whisper white cut at um, four by five and a quarter and I'm gonna take a little bit of adhesive I can't find my snail so I'm gonna use a little bit of fast fuse just to um, adhere this down to the paper so that it won't move while we're sponging And then I also have my um, torn edge pieces that I've used in the, for, not in the, but for the previous card. So I'm using the same pieces. It's just a notebook, um, a sheet of notebook paper that I've torn to create the edges. I've torn it to create these edges. And I've made about three cards already using this with different colors because I like the the design that I created when I did it. And this one, I think I want to start it kind of narrow and then open it up to be wider. So let's see. How wide do I want it? I think that's pretty good. Let's get this set up here. Okay. And um, the colors we're going to be using in this are Coastal Cabana, the in color, the new in color blueberry bushel, and the, one of the new core colors, um, Highland Heather. And we're going to be using the Tuxedo Memento Black to stamp the images. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started on our sponging. And let me get my sponging, my sponges out. I want Coastal Cabana. And Highland Heather. Yep, Highland Heather. This is, um, I just got this from one of our local craft stores and it keeps my daubers and sponges. As you can see, I need to add my labels to some of them so I'll know what colors they are without searching too hard for them. Okay, so we're gonna start with the blueberry bushel. this into the ink and start sponging on carefully I'm gonna try not to go underneath the template here that I made and I don't have any measurements as far as um, how much to put on of each color but I just want to keep in mind that I do have three colors so I don't want to go too far down with one or the other and we're gonna do Coastal Cabana next In the Coastal Cabana, I'm going to do that at the bottom, but I want to do this to make sure that I don't um, color too much of the middle color and don't have enough room for the Coastal Cabana. See, I went under there again. Oh, man. It'll be okay. Let's see. Yeah, that's where I'm going to probably stamp my image, so it shouldn't... It shouldn't... Um, 
be that noticeable once the card is complete. Okay, that's enough of that color. Here now, I'm gonna go with the Highland Heather. This is the new stamp case design where you just open it like a compact and then slide it down. And that's gonna go here in the middle of these two colors. And as you can see, I'm just sponging in a circular motion and I do want to overlap the colors to make it blend in the lines but I want this one to blend more with the Coastal Cabana color, not the Highland Heather. There we go. And that is our sponging done. Let me just close these ink cases up. Get these sponges out of the way. And we're gonna remove our mask. And you can see here, I went out of the mask a little bit, but that's okay. That should be covered up with the stamp. Okay, so now we can at least, actually I'm gonna leave it there. I'll just turn the paper because <laughs> I want it to come this way. So I'm going to ink up this big tree image with the Memento Tuxedo Black. Make sure I get good coverage on here because I don't have my Stamparatus yet. It's on its way. And we're going to just stamp this close to the bottom. Hmm. I wanted to cover up that mark, but I don't think it's going to make it. But that's okay. Oh, that looks pretty good. It covers it somewhat. You can't notice it that much. Okay, and then the sentiment I want to put on here is be strong, be happy, be you. I'm going to just test this out to see how straight it is. Hopefully I'm not getting in the camera. My head. Oh man, that's not straight at all. Let me try to stamp that one more time so I'll know which way I need to angle. So it needs to come down to the left. Just a tad bit. There we go. And that's that done. And I think I want to, now I'm going to remove it from the paper. I think I want to, hmm, I might want to use some of the Nature's Twine. This comes in the Nature, um, Rooted in Nature Sweet. I think I might want to tie some of the twine on here. Which color, the blackberry or... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Because I wanted to go right here to kind of separate these two colors. So which one do I want? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think I'll use the blackberry. I like this color. I mean, I like mint macaron as well. And the other colors is uh, Grapefruit Grove and Creme Cake in this. You get all four. So I think I want to tie some of this around here. Actually, I'm not going to tie it. I think I'll just cut a little snippet right there. And then tie a bow separately because, uh, yeah, me and bows, we don't get along too well when I have to tie it. With, but if I tie a separate bow, it's much easier for me. And I like to keep it connected to the spool so that I don't waste too much of my ribbon or my twine in this case. Okay, I'll just put that away so I won't roll it off my desk. connect the twine around the actual cardstock. I'm just going to use a little bit of tear and tape. Let me find oh my my fingers are inky from all the sponging I've been doing. So we're just going to lift this here. About right there is where I want it. 
and I'm just gonna secure it on the back with this um, tear and tape. Come on, get across. Okay, so that's secure. And now we're gonna um, pop up our image on dimensionals before we add it to our card base. Use a few of these. I don't want it to sag in the middle, so we'll put one here in the middle. I guess three in the middle, because <laughs> that's how many I have. And the card base is just Whisper White, cut at a five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Yeah, that's my personalized stamp that I stamp on the back of all of my cards. I just wanted to make sure I had the card the right way around. Take all these dimensional backings off. Now the um, backing for this tear and tape, we're not gonna take off. That's just there to hold the twine together. It's not for adhesive. So let me try it. Uh-oh, that's kind of cricket. Okay, there we go. Let's try to put this on here. Nice and straight like. Let me see, maybe I need to lift it up. Hmm. Nope, I don't like it. Come up, come up, please come up. There. There we go. Okay. And then make sure that's even. I need to get a glue dot. I have some glue dots left over from paper pumpkin kits, so that's what I'm going to be using. To adhere this bow let me tighten that up straighten up my tails and I will put this glue dot on the back of here and release the paper and just place it right there okay and I think I'm gonna add a little bit of wink of Stella like I did on the other cards just to the tree image just dotted it around i love these colors together i've seen this color combination on i think meg lovin or let me check because i have it on my computer i think it's lovin stamps and her name is meg she made a card with these colors. Nothing like this that I made, just the colors. And I love the colors together. So I thought, I think I'm gonna make some cards like that. And it turned out great. Okay, that should be enough. I don't know if you can see that sparkle. I don't know. But in real life, you can see it. It is very shiny there. Okay, and that is our card. I love the way that came together. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. As always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Mm -hmm.